So with the database normalization, we're designing databases that reduce data redundancy and improve data integrity. And as we do this, we use rules known as normal forms. So let me talk about the importance of this. Let's imagine we have a patient visits table. We're tracking um, every row as a different visit for a patient. We've got an ID that uniquely identifies the visit, the date of the visit, but we've also got a name of a patient, their age, and their city. Now, the issue here is that we have to re-enter their name, their age, and their city every time they make a visit, and so we've got duplicate information, which causes us to use more storage. And also, it complicates updates. So if that patient, Jeff Waring, was to change cities from Madison to Chicago, every visit in the table for them, we've got to change their city, and that can cause issues. So the way that we can fix this, to normalize this a bit, is in the visits table to just simply add a patient ID that is a foreign key to a patient's table where all of that patient information is updated or kept current. Now, in terms of normal forms, those are the rules that we're using for normalization. We've got a few that are common, but there's lots of possible normal forms. And so the way that we typically start is in an unnormalized format. And then we go to first normal form if we achieve that, we can go to second normal form and then to third normal form and so on. Now, third normal form is typically good enough for most situations. You can go beyond that, but we'll talk about how you're trading off storage and performance. You're kind of trying to battle those two things. So there's not necessarily one right answer for every situation. Okay, so let's talk about first normal form. In this case, to meet this, our rows must be unique and column data cannot have multiple values. So imagine this table, which is a little different than the one we talked about previously. So let's say we've got a patient table, information about the patient, but there's a column in that table called visits that has multiple pieces of data. So every time the patient has a visit, we're just adding the date to it. That is um, not a first normal form. And it becomes difficult sometimes to handle updates or to analyze data in this way. So what we can do then is split this up. So we have a patient's table, but we've pulled out their visits to a separate visits table. But we have the patient ID and the date of their visit. Now to get to second normal form, the next step, we first must have achieved first normal form. And then either we must have a single column primary key, or we must have columns that depend on each part of a composite key. A composite key is a key that's more than one field. Now, in the patient's table that we looked at, we have a single column primary key, so we've met second normal form. But if we didn't have that, like if we had a key that was a composite key that was multiple columns, like the patient name and their city together, any other pieces of data have to depend on both parts or each part of the primary key. It can't be that they just depend on one. Now, to achieve third normal form, this is really the most common kind of level that we get to. We must be in second normal form, and we need to move fields that are not dependent on the key. So here's what I mean by that. Let's go back to that patient table we just looked at. We've got the ID, the name, the city of the patient, but also we have the name of their doctor and the specialty for that doctor. Now, in this case, the specialty of the doctor does not depend on the patient ID, which is the key. It actually depends on the name of the doctor, which becomes an issue because we'll have to, if a doctor changes their specialty, we'd have to change that specialty field for every patient that has that doctor, which causes complexity. What we want to do to get to third normal form is break this up. So we'll have a patient's table and a doctor's table. And in the patient's table, we'll just have a foreign key for the doctor ID that directs us over to the doctor's table where we see the doctor name, their specialty. It could also be their address, their home hospital, among other things. Now, as you go through this, if you even go beyond third or more form, just remember that these are not laws. No one's going to arrest you if you violate a rule of normalization. And oftentimes you make trade-offs in terms of storage and performance. Okay. And there's not always one right amount of normalization. We're just trading off uh, storage and performance and finding the right level for us. But again, a common approach is to use third normal form.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. And if you're interested in a SQL cheat sheet, you can find one over at codybaldwin.com.